to your perspective on what happened with Kevin's ejection? Uh, he, I think he said the magic word. He, um, he's been tossed five times this year now, which is the most since, uh, I think, 2001, Rasheed Wallace. You always talk about Draymond, you know, letting him play with the edge. Is there going to be any type of conversation with Kevin as he going into the playoffs say, hey, like, you know, you can play like this, but, but the edge maybe not getting tossed in a big game? Well, if there is, it would not be something I would discuss uh, with, with you guys. Steve, you talked about this in the midseason, how all of you, including yourself, needed to kind of rein it in a little bit and get, we're getting over-emotional. Do you just feel maybe this is building up again just in general with the team? No, I think I think Kevin just had a moment. Uh, he was frustrated. He went to the rim three times. Um, should have should have had three different fouls, I thought. Um, and I think he was frustrated anyway because the game wasn't you know really going well for him, and uh, so he snapped. Um, but it happens, and uh, I didn't feel like that. You know, it was like a team wide thing, and it it just felt like we uh, lost our poise in general. Um, you know, with the turnovers and the and the ejection, so the game just got away from us in the second quarter. Um, if Quinn Cook keeps playing like this, like even once Steph gets back, do you feel like he's playing himself into a potential rotation type role just with his recent play? It, it went it, like you're talking about after Steph gets back. I got enough to think about, Anthony. <laughs> I'm definitely not thinking about after Steph gets back. I got to figure out what the hell to do right now. Uh, we're struggling right now. We're not playing well. So he's he's playing great. So he's playing a, a, a big role for us, and that'll continue. But who knows what's going to happen? You know, five weeks from now. Steve, how do you see Draymond just given his first game back, just in terms of his conditioning level? And it was good. Else? It was a good game for Draymond. Uh, you know, 28 minutes was a good number for him coming off uh, both the injury and the illness. Um, I liked his energy. Um, you know, the game didn't quite go his way. Um, you know, but um, I liked um, I liked how he played. I liked how he competed. Coach, uh, Pat. Had a good third quarter. You know, it was the aggressiveness was there. Is, did you like what you saw of him, and is he coming around? In, uh, in yeah, that regard? I thought Pat played, played well tonight. Uh, I thought that was a bright spot. Was uh, Pat? You know, Looney, Quinn all looked good um, tonight, and um, our our young guys gave us a good uh, good final push to, to kind of make it close a little bit and give us a chance. But uh, you know, that's uh, that's about the only thing that that went well. I thought uh, the game was. Really well in hand for us, uh, not in terms of winning or losing in the second quarter, but we were right where we needed to be. We were, we were playing fine, and then we lost our poise, and the uh, game got away from us. Steve, what did you see from Kevin before he got tossed? I thought he looked good, and he was moving well. Um, yeah, he had a few turnovers. He, he, uh, when you come back uh, off a layoff like that, um, you know, it takes a little while to get your – Get your bearings, and uh, so I thought he looked good physically. I thought uh, he was maybe um, not quite there, and just in terms of the speed and the force of the game. But that'll that'll probably come next game. What's the, what's the update on Andre? Left with knee soreness, just kind of going. Into yeah, his left back. knee, left knee soreness. Just so going into this back to back, you just consider him day to day. Yeah, yeah, day to day. I mean, I probably won't play him in Sacramento, um, but we'll see. Uh, the training staff says. You mentioned a little bit with the Kevin statement, but how concerned were you about the amount of turnovers and kind of thrown into passing lanes with the team as long as the Bucks and yeah. knowing that that's a point of emphasis yeah. without Steph on the court? That's, I mean, that was, that was the whole game, you know, um, and that was where the lack of poise, you know, came in. Um, you know, we um, we were actually playing pretty well, you know, early in the game and then um, just started throwing it to the other guys and uh, can't do that. Sorry. Um, I apologize if this has been asked, but especially early on, points in the paint were lopsided. Was there a reason for that? You're playing a smaller lineup. Uh, well, we didn't start a smaller lineup. You know, we had Draymond and KD and Javel, and um, uh, points in the paint were mas basically transition dunks. So it wasn't like they were, you know, throwing the ball inside and posting it up. But points in the paint, when you turn it over and they dribble down and dunk it, those are points in the paint. And that's what I saw.